Good evening. Welcome to another day of your CUET uh, questions that we are doing. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and have a look at this question. Four students P, Q, R and F opted different subjects. So what I have done is I have written P, P, Q, R and S here. P, Q, R and S here. And they're opting different subjects. It says no two students different subjects may it, it means that each of them has to take a different subject so it means that no two of them can take the same subject ye wala baat pehle clear kar lo that if p takes eco then q r and s cannot take eco okay so <clears throat> it says now q opted neither physics nor history yahan pe ek chhota sa jaldi se table bana lete hain so p q r and s and there are four subjects eco history eco history physics and chemistry so p q r n s eco history physics and chemistry okay acha first dekho q opted neither physics nor history so q is going for neither physics q is going for neither physics nor history S opted neither physics nor chemistry. So S opted neither physics nor chemistry. Fourth, third sentence ko last me padenge. Pehle fourth dekho. P opted neither physics nor history. So P opted neither physics nor history. Now just think about this. Each student must take one subject. They must take different subjects. If physics... Is not taken by P, Q, and S, then who is taking physics? R. So we know that R has opted for physics. If R has opted for physics, it means he cannot opt for history, eco, or chemistry. This is clear to us. Now we are left up with three subjects subjects P, uh, eco, uh, history and chemistry which needs to be divided in these three students now let's read out the last statement third statement if q did not opt for chemistry then r did not opt for physics so if q did not take chemistry then r will not take physics r will not take physics but r has taken physics but R has taken physics. So Q must have opted for chemistry. If Q did not opt for chemistry. Agar Q ne chemistry nahi li hoti. To R ne physics nahi li hoti. R ne physics li hai. To Q ne chemistry li hogi. Kyunki agar Q ne chemistry Suppose, 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 I cancel this out. Suppose. Suppose I say, nahi, kyun ne to economics liye. That means Q did not opt for chemistry. If Q did not opt for chemistry, then R should not have taken physics. But R has taken physics. R ne physics li hai. So if R has taken physics, then when Q is deciding between eco and chemistry, you cannot put a cross on chemistry because this is what the statement is saying. That if Q did not opt for chemistry, R did not opt for physics. R ne to physics le liye. So we cannot put a cross against chemistry in Q. So cross for eco mein hi aega na kyunki baki do mein cross already a chuka hai. So which means Q would have opted for chemistry. I am using this information plus the third information to say that he opted for chemistry. Right? Okay. So that means Q has opted 
chemistry. So the question, question is asking Q opted for and the answer is chemistry. Now I'm leaving it to you to solve this question. Economics was opted by. There are four options. Pause your video, go through this again, read this content, and then you tell me who opted for chemistry and answer this in the section below, in the comment section. I will check your answers and tell you whether it is correct or not. Okay, thank you. Let's meet tomorrow again in the next class.